Okay, welcome. Uh, what I want to do here is walk you guys through a 4v4 battle. Uh, I'm using a US deck. Uh, no special bonuses, no year bonuses. And I've decided here with uh, my teammates that uh, two of them will be going to the middle, one to the left, and I'll be going to the right here. So let's just get this uh, possibly into maybe 5 speed here. And um, also I've decided, um, or I volunteered to leave a command at base. So here I am in blue, I'll be leaving a command at base, taking one to Kilo. And I've got uh, light riflemen inside of Blackhawks for this battle. And what I'm surmising here is that the enemy, if they're going to come to the right, uh, they will have to either come all the way down to this road and then over into Kilo. But to do that, they'd have to come through my ally, whom I know is going to India. So if they truly click the move fast, uh, their units will come along this road, through here, over here, and they actually want to get to Juliet. That's what they want to do. So I'm going to take these light riflemen and try to cut them off as best I can. There's some buildings here, and there's some nice wooded areas up in the top right. So that's exactly what I do. I've got two chaparrales here uh, to get up into this area, some Blackhawks, and then one recon infantry unit that I can get up into the far right as well. Also at the start, uh, I, I own a Tomcat, and you can see I brought it out because I saw the MiG-31M. The Tomcat does get the kill, but unfortunately it goes down as well. So here's the Blackhawks, and I see them, I unload, and right now I'm thinking, okay, everybody's dead. But fortunately, one of these light riflemen landed right in a building. And I want to slow this down to one speed just for this portion here. You can see how lucky you can get just by being at the right place at the right time. There you go, these light riflemen just took out what is a command vehicle for 135 points. So well worth it. And, and in fact, one of my allies comes in to do a bombing run on these guys as well. Um, so that, that engagement skirmish is done. What it's done, it, it made him unload a lot of his troops. So it threw him off of his game. Some of his other units are panicked and stunned. And I still have a forward recon unit that's alive, okay? So at this point, I know one thing for sure. He's, he is planning on sending his entire force into Juliet. Now, once he gets to Juliet, he has a couple options. Uh, one, he follows all the way down this road and comes into Kilo. Uh, two, he goes all the way back up the road and down this road, of which my light rifleman here will be able to protect. And the third option is to come across the field here. Um, if he comes across the field, I have time to react. If he comes down the road, my light rifleman will be but intercept. If he comes down this road, I've got nothing there. So with the first 140 points I have in this game, I call in uh, about five or six units of Delta Force to cover these towns, these industrial parks, and these buildings here. So see how my rangers tell me exactly what he has up there? So I know what I'm. I know what I'm facing. It's a, it's a bunch of mixed units, units and medium tanks. So I bring in these MBT-70s, which are multi-purpose. They have an ATGM missile. They have uh, an auto cannon, and they also have tank rounds. So they can do it at all. They can engage light vehicles, uh, tanks from afar, or infantry um, within range. So I really like the MBT-70 here for this type of thing. Uh, at this point, my Chaparral already got uh, a kill. It was a plane that came out of Delta, and it was attacking my Delta Force. And you can see these Chaparrals are right in between their air spawn and my Delta Force. Of course, now they have, they brought in a second command, and now they've got this air corridor open in Juliet. So he's got a tank coming from my Chaparral. Tell my MBT-70 to get over there. Of course, he handles it. In case that MBT-70 didn't do its job, I called in an Apache. And I really like the Apache here as well, because there's a lot of places where this Apache can hover right here. I can land it. I can change its altitude. It can pop up. 
And the other thing is, is he has a buck. And I know the range on the buck, um, around 3,000 meters. So I know to keep my distance uh, when I have to. So let's just hit play here. Uh, resupply the chaparral. The Apache does some work. And another thing is, too, I only brought in the Apache when I had everything else covered, okay? I had infantry on the field. I had anti-air. I have tanks. I have logistics vehicles. Um, and my line stretches all the way from the edge of the map right to my ally. My ally's within firing distance here. That's the only time I would ever bring in an Apache like that, okay? If everything else was already out on the battlefield. Okay, at this point, I see he's got a buck, and I buy a, a Raven. So now I have a Raven in my Air Force. And what I do here is I send these MPD-70s on an attack move, meaning they're going to move forward until they see a unit that they can engage with. They're going to engage it, and then they're going to continue moving forward right here. Uh, actually, not yet. They're not going to do that yet, apparently. But that's all right, because, yeah, I wait because I want to bring more recon here on the left, right? I've got forward recon all the way up here. I see everything he's bringing into hotel uh, to reinforce, but I don't send my MBT-70s yet because I want more recon, so we'll get that going. Yeah, here we go. Walking up the recon. There we go. I send in the Raven. Raven takes down one, two bucks. Alright, continue on with the Rangers. Continue on with the MBT-70s. And they're just going on an excursion. I'm not trying to dominate Juliet with two MBT-70s. I'm going to push them into, in there until they panic and uh, become possibly disabled, and then I'll reverse them out of there. Um, at this point, there's these three units of these Russian Marines that are going to be a, a major problem for my Delta Force. So I believe at this point I buy a Nighthawk to, uh, to come in and strike those Marines. Um, before I bring in the Nighthawk, I, back, I, I come in with a Raven first to clear out any anti-air, right? So there's the Raven, shoots down two AA, and the Nighthawk takes out the Marines. So now he brings in these two uh, Strellas here. Uh, because he does not want to get, uh, he doesn't want any more radar AA, let's put it that way. The Estrellas are infrared, and my Raven is now effectively useless, okay? So I back out my MBT-70s. Look, one of them's panicked and hurt. I just back them both out. I get them resupplied. Now, he brought in Artie to uh, bomb my Chaparrales. By this point, my Chaparrales have shot down a ton of planes, so he's tired of them. So I'm just refitting my troops. Yeah, there's his Artie again, and watch here. Okay, the light rifleman do some work on the left. Chaparral's shooting down more planes. MBT-70s are refilled with missiles. Chaparral shoot down more planes. Send in the MBT-70s again on another excursion. That's all it is. This time we'll pull in a flanking tank, another MBT-70. See what they can do. At this point, I know that two MBT-70s will never clear Juliet, no matter how many times I pull them. Also, he artied my Super Chinook, which really makes me upset, right? So what I do is I put down an attack marker, because I notice this is exactly where his artie is firing from. And I need to put, put this down for anyone else except for me. I mark that for myself, so when I bring the Nighthawk in about 20 seconds later, I know where to... That, to tell that Nighthawk where to land its bombs. And that's exactly what he does. Takes out their arty. Okay, so the MBT-70s, okay, they're not going to let Juliet go. They just brought in four T-62 M's, uh, uh, MVs. So I, I definitely need to call in more tanks and more ATGM, and that's exactly what I do. Uh, MBT-70s, ITOs, Super M60s, M1 IP Abrams. And what I do here is I stage them. I stage them all right about here. And then I uh, window select all of them. And I use attack. And I left click. So they'll move forward until they can engage. They'll stop. And they'll shoot. 
and then they'll move forward again, and then they'll stop and shoot, all on their own, okay? So this whole time, it, it looks like, you know, they're stopping, they're firing, it looks like, wow, I'm really, you know, I'm really microing these guys, but I'm not, you know? I, this whole time, I've just told them to attack move, and they're doing all this work on their own. But at this point, my um, ATGMs are running out of missiles. I just got rocketed and stunned. I pull everything back to my supply base, right back to the supply base. And the Apache, it'll maintain Overwatch while everything gets healed up. And I bring the Hemet and the Hemets up to get repaired. Everything gets refueled. And what I've done here is to make sure that uh, Juliet gets taken this time, I've brought in uh, five labs with Marines to come up this road and flank while my tanks continue to do the attack move across the field, okay? And again, this whole time, I've always got two chaparrales on the field, so right now two got bombed. I believe I bring out two more. Okay, my rangers got taken out. I don't need to wait for more recon because I know what's ahead of me in Juliet. And I know with the additional tanks now, I'll be able to uh, I'll be able to take Juliet this time. Just to seal the deal, there we go. I bring four more chaparrales because I'm light on AA, and I bring four more Abrams just to seal the deal. So now I have twice the size of force as I did last time. And last time I did pretty well. So here we go. The attack move... Every, once they see something, they stop and shoot. Here we go. And send in the Marines up the side. Send my Chaparrales up as well, because they called it anti-air. And there you go. That's how Juliet is cleared. Now, why don't I stop at this point? Why do, uh, why do I just keep going, right? Well, I took a look around the map. I see my allies have complete map control. Uh, they've already swept into Delta. So I, I tell my AT, uh, my LAVs just to move fast. I send a tank over here to clear up the woods. Raven, the Nighthawk, and the rest is history. At this point, you know, don't even worry about all this other stuff you got over here, because what, what's going to, they're not going to, what are you going to do, get all, you could, drive them all the way over to Alpha and do all that. But by this time, I think I had eight, nine hundred points, so I call in, you know, eight helicopters. But uh, my buddy here on the left, I figure, well, he's been waiting this whole, or fighting this whole time to take Alpha, right? He really deserves to take Alpha. So, although I call them in, um, and I tell them to move forward somewhat, I do tell them to land, actually, before they engage too much, because I don't want to steal this guy's thunder. And, in fact, what ends up happening here is um, the last guy surrenders. And uh, here's a bug that you can report. Um, if you're watching a replay, um, if someone from the opposing team, the, the last guy to uh, be on the opposing team, if he surrenders during the game, your replay will actually crash. So... Um, Somebody be good and uh, report that. Other than that, everyone, uh, until next time, have a great day.